in the cage. What have we here? You weren't who I was expecting. I'm disappointed. Still, even if you aren't my intended guest, you take direction. Good. You can't have been an idiot to figure out how to release me from my cage. Or perhaps you are, with that leash on your arm, and the one around your neck. With our collars and manacles, why, we may as well be kin. I'm the voice of reason. I sleep sometimes. Down in the basement, in the cage. Now that I'm awake, Dog goes back in the cage. Dog knows I'm here, but can't do anything about it. I'm his... conscience. Keep him tame, keep him from hurting us, doing foolish things. I've been trapped in here for some time, then you come along and let me out. So, you opened my cage for a reason. Now, I want to know why. Trauma. Yes, in a manner of speaking. Do you see these wounds of his covering his skin? The bear trap on his arm. He placed his own hand in it. The name he carved in his chest. To remind him of who he is, he inflicts pain on himself to silence me when all I try to do... <sighs> he cuts, hurts, and tries to murder me out of him. He won't succeed. Just makes me angrier. Dog is the beast. We simply change cages, like the ones here. It's close. Closer than I'd like. Dog's been into things, needs to think before he eats, chew before he swallows. He's eager that way. Now the collar's a part of me, inside. I can feel its electronic heartbeat clicking and burning down below, like before. It was cold and heavy before going in the cage. Now you're here, and it's pulling and kicking again, tugging like a leash. Interesting. Really? Yet it led you here, to me. And now you're here, and it's burning a hole in my guts. Maybe it's crying for its owner. They... detach. When segmented, they look like nothing more than metallic rad scorpions. And if they're attached to neck flesh, warm, red, Dog doesn't care what's on the body he's crushing in his hands. He'll mangle it, twist it, make it fit until he's full. Dog can't help himself. Hungry, greedy. And now the collar's inside, alive again. And we're trapped here, 
until it goes cold. As if I had a choice. Sometimes instinct takes over, and that's when I go into the cage. It's like curiosity that way. After all, you wouldn't have put that collar on by choice. Perhaps it was your curiosity that caused that hand to close on your neck. Of course you do. And so do I. The key? Why, it's the old man. The one who brought us here. I hid the key on me so Dog wouldn't know. I just need the old man to show up so he and I can... talk. If Dog was in control when the old man appeared, well, he would just do whatever he commanded, as always. And I can't have that. They were here when I arrived, so I made use of them, in a manner of speaking. More their... voices, really. These collars, they don't just track us. You can eavesdrop on them as well. Tune to a frequency, and you can hear everything someone is saying. So perhaps it's a good thing that Dog swallowed his collar. Anyone listening would find it difficult to hear past the... Digestion. Very good. Yes, it's another layer of white noise to ensure privacy. Unfortunately, it's also acted as a dinner bell for the residents. As long as the holographic greeter outside is active, however, I can get by them. The holograms fascinate them. Ghost worship, perhaps. No. Why did I lock him in the cage? I locked him in because I could feel him... getting hungry again. There wasn't much time. If Dog roams, he gets into trouble. Eats things he shouldn't. Listens to others he shouldn't. So he's safer in here. We're safer in here. I hoped if I locked him in here, the one he obeys would come for him. Instead, I get you. Oh, I have the key. Always did. Hid it on the chain behind my neck before Dog came bursting out, eating everything he could. Wanted to make sure whoever came to fetch Dog spoke to me first. Got within reach. Instead, I get you. Dog and I don't share everything. What I know, he doesn't. What he knows, what little he knows, I don't. For example, your arrival is a surprise. I wished that I could have remembered. I'm sure Dog knew. And when he's feeding, well... I sometimes have to find out about it later. Now all there is to do is wait for my intended guest. Don't play stupid. I already have to mind one child. You must have figured it out by now. The old man obsessed with the Sierra Madre, riddled with greed. Hoped you might be him when I woke up. All you are is his hand. You're the same kind of greed. Followed the radio, the broadcast, and now you're here, all confused. Not for long. You'll figure it out. You're not him any more than I'm Dog. But that collar around your neck... You're an extension of the old man's grasp. Clumsy, perhaps, but a tool, yes. And once you get acclimated to the Sierra Madre, 
Then you'll feel the same overpowering hunger the old man does. And then you'll be him, not just his hand. Elijah. Human. Weak like all of you are. Feeling age circling him like starved dogs, howling for blood. To me, he reeks of age and failure. And madness. To me, he is simply the old man. To dog, he is master. His name, meaningless. Running out of years, hopes and dreams running through his withered hands like sand from the big empty and scorched by the sun. The old man, this Elijah, tried to hold the sun in his hands. Arrogance was cast down for it. Icarus' crime was to fly too high. Elijah... Elijah wanted to bring the sun down to him. <laughs> Arrogance. Heard the call of the Sierra Madre, just like you did. Exactly the same way. Finds out it's more than a story. Comes to this shining, poisonous grail. This jewel of the desert. Dog knows him more than I do. Dog's always nodding, always obeying him, because he's weak and hungry and greedy for Master's affection. Of course I know. Even if I don't see it happen. Down in the cage, I hear echoes of the footfalls, the click of the collars. Every time I see one of you, I know exactly how you got here. You couldn't help yourselves any more than Dog can help himself. You heard the voice, the promise, and then you walked right into one of the old man's traps. Then, then Dog comes for you, drags you here. Me? You think I want to haul bodies around the wastes like a Brahmin at the whip? No. Dog does it. When the old man says fetch, Dog fetches. You were in a man trap, and Dog made his rounds and dragged you here. When, I don't know. But it must have been recent. Before the cage. I don't remember you. That isn't surprising. What is, is that it was when Dog was out of his cage. Free. Hungry. He knows not to eat anything he catches in the traps. After that, however, so he dragged you here. You got spared. Dog must have fed after you arrived. Once he was fed, that allowed me out of the cage and put him inside. Do you remember how long you were out? Must have already been in the cage. Already had the collar in me. You're lucky Dog didn't devour you. Otherwise, we'd be closer than we are now. Of course you do. And so do I. Yes, but Dog doesn't know that. We don't share everything. Sometimes it's a blessing. Sometimes it causes difficulties. Now I think it's a blessing. It keeps you on that side of the cage. Now, you go fetch. Find your master. Bring him here so we can talk.
Yes, you could. And once he was out, all starving and hungry, what do you think he would do then? Be careful what cage you open, because he won't go back in it without a fight. He'll tear you apart. He won't care if it kills you both. Dog obeys, yes. Why? Do you have some means of contacting the old man? You don't play it. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage, end you. I'll murder you, crush your arms and legs until... No, you wouldn't. If you did, you won't escape this place alive. I'd shatter every one of your limbs to splinters and leave you here. You think I'm afraid of your collar exploding, killing us? No. I'll leave you breathing, then keep walking until my collar goes cold. I'll prop your broken body in view of the Sierra Madre so you can see what you came to steal forever out of reach as you die. Hmm. No. No, you're not. Even though dogs more docile, easier to control. You may regret this, this place, this place is where creatures like Dog can survive. The people that fill its streets. He is as vicious, more vicious than them. His hunger can help you more than I can. When I am in control, this shell is difficult to fight in. <laughs> I am not sure you belong here. No, you don't belong here. Yet, you came this far, and I'm not interested in remaining here any longer. I'll unlock the cage. Very well. Lead on. I wish I had a stealth boy.
your own fault you're here. Couldn't leave well enough alone. You return. Why? Gather the three as I've instructed, then I will have more for you. Not before. In go. The Sierra Madre may wait. I will not. If it isn't the clever one, what do you want? Orders. For me. This should be good. If it isn't the... Dog is better at the baser instincts than I. I merely have the brain for it. His sinew and muscle are difficult to move consciously. He's always hungry. Clumsy. Heavy. I'm sure you do. All it takes is the right... command. Whenever Dog hears the... his master giving orders, I go back in the cage. So that leash on your wrist... 
and the one on your neck. I won't truly be free to express myself until every trace of that voice is destroyed. Still, if you ever want to speak to me, bark my audio log at him, the one in the police station. That'll call me out. Dog is afraid of me as long as the master isn't around. The master, Elijah, reminds Dog of someone from long ago. His leader, commander, commanders. The master was a strong personality. Personalities as well. Dog is slavish, was conditioned to serve the master until death. The old man, Elijah, merely came along and opened that door in Dog's mind. Now, Dog does whatever the old man wants. Gather others, drag them here. Fetch, like an animal, and hurt them if they resist. Dog doesn't even blink. Even hear their cries when he's twisted their arms full circle. Fragile things, screaming on the ground. To listen to him, commanding Dog to hurt others. And Dog just nods, eager and willing to serve. Mad? Mad doesn't even begin to describe. There's not a word for the hate I feel inside. It's consuming, twists every thought to red. After all that's laid ruin to the world, again and again, I thought at last we could be free. Thought Dog could be free. No. No, the world's always got another cage, waiting, keeping everything you want, just out of reach. Do anything? Me. Me, Dog puts in the cage, hurts himself to try and drown out my voice, when all I want to do... Ah, ah, never mind. Useless. Finally had to start fighting back. Screaming on my own. Had to take matters into my own hands. Lock Dog up. I've watched over Dog for so long. Tried to stop him from hurting others. Killing others. Quiet that mindless, howling instinct of his. He doesn't understand. He has the brain of a child. He knows when he does wrong. He just can't help himself. He's my brother, Kin. Without him, I wouldn't exist. Maybe I was nothing more than his conscience, trying to rein him in. Useless. I... I just need him to show restraint, let go of the needs, the hungers, ease the burden just once, so I can have my thoughts to myself. The instinct is stronger than me. Dog is stronger than me. He's just a child. He knows when he does wrong. He just can't help himself. I don't know when I first spoke, or when I first started thinking for myself. It was so long ago. I... Slept for a long time. Before, I want to believe I was the one in control once. I don't know anymore. Then Dog got a new master, a new voice. And I woke up to protect him. You're a brave one. Sure you're ready for the answers? Don't play stupid. I already have to mind one child. You must have figured it out by now. The old man obsessed with the Sierra Madre, riddled with greed. Hoped you might be him when I woke up. All you are is his hand. 
You're the same kind of greed. We'll see. That pip boy. Maybe I'll tear it off your arm, wear it on my neck.
Or old world gold. Maybe I'll tear it off your arm. Leave the Salita del Sol gate alone. You're not done with the villa yet, so don't stray. Picking up signals near your location. Detonators, watch for traps.
it's your own fault. fault you're here.
If it isn't the clever one, what do you want? You want us to split up, all three of us? Make up your mind. You... I'll make more progress on my own. Just don't get us killed. Crosses me, they'll regret it. Even if they don't, they still might. <laughs> <laughs> 